Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a single leg deadlift, but supported by using something like a post like this. Now this is doing the same as a single leg deadlift, but it's taking out the balance or control factor. Now most of the time, when we do a single leg deadlift like this, we're doing it, yes, for posterior chain, hammy, glute, that sort of thing, bit of core, but we're also doing it for knee control. So it's part of, say, an ACL rehab program or a knee rehab program where we need to work on hamstrings, but also need to work on knee control. Now, some people really, really struggle with knee control part. So in some cases, like most of the time, we do balance before load, okay, or stability before load. But with some people, they're so wobbly and their control is not so great that they struggle to do the exercise anyway. Now, this way with a supported pole like this, which is a really simple way of doing it, is you get in the single leg deadlift part, you get in the posterior chain strengthening, the hammy work, the glute work on the single leg, but you don't have to worry about the knee control so much or the hip control so much because you are balanced with a pole. I'll show you what I mean. So with all single leg deadlifts, what you want to aim for is the bell, the kettlebell, is in the opposite to the leg that you're standing on. Okay, so for this sort of thing, I am right-handed kettlebell, left-hand leg. Now when you're doing it that way, therefore my left hand is on this side of the pole. Now, there's two ways of doing this, and you may work out which way you like yourself, but with both ways, this is holding my balance up, so I don't have to worry about my knee wobbling. Okay, so as soon as I hold onto that, or put some load, or grab onto it, I instantly stabilize with this leg. So when I go down into that single leg deadlift, there's so much less wobbliness going on here, which means, like I said, you get the work done in the back part of the leg without the control issues or hurting the knee or anything like, and you actually get the exercise done. So it's for people who have that problem, and again, it's a means to an end. We work on supported stuff like this, okay, working on that single leg deadlift, building up the posterior chain strength so they get at least get something in here and then progress to a single leg deadlift without that. And of course, all the stability options like bands and bosus after that as well, okay? Now, the two things that you can do for variables on this are, it's basically two different options with your hand. You either have your hand in one fixed position midway down. Now, the reason why it's midway, so not down here and not holding on up here at shoulder height, the reason why it's midway is because when you start, you bend your elbow and when you end, then that position here is not compromising what's happening in my shoulders. If I start too high, what will happen is if I hold in here, I'm gonna then rotate because I'm holding, I'm leaning and holding on there. So you can't, don't make the mistake of putting your hand high and then twisting through your body because you're gonna start causing problems through your back. The same thing, obviously you don't wanna grab on way down too low because you're already sort of compromising, it's not gonna help you too much. Midway, in there, same drills with all the deadlifts, bent knee, hinge back, leg goes backwards, straight back, working through the glute, working through the hammy. The second option, which I like the most, but it does come with a bit of skill acquisition, is you start high, as the bell goes down, your hand goes down at the same rate. So your bell goes down, you can see I wobbled a little bit there. So with this one, it needs a bit of a control, it's a little bit harder, bell goes down, hand goes down. Now this might be for you if you're trying to advance this exercise. Maybe you start here fixed, you then work to sliding because the sliding still gives you the support. So you've still got support here, but you can see how it's a little bit harder for me, okay? So there's more balance there, but I'm still supported. So perhaps for some people starting out, start fixed, then move to the slider. Then of course, when you're ready and you're able, you can work on not using anything and work on that control there. Then you use bands, then use bosos. So there's my little tip. Start on a supported single leg deadlift. Get the work done, build some strength up, then go the full single leg to advance it. See you next time.